you would join us. Hey Star Wars fans and Action Movie Collectors, got another Vintage Collection figure review getting back onto some vintage stuff, which is good to see. Um, got a nice slew of figures to keep me going for the next few few days of reviews leading up into the next week. But we're going to kick off with VC310, it's the, uh, the first of the Skeleton Crew figures in 3 and 3 quarter, I think the only one revealed, this one, it only feels like this one was revealed not that long ago. And uh, yeah, the Black Series full wave has already started showing up. But um, I like the look of of Jude Law's character here, Jod Nanawood. Um, whether that's the pronunciation, we'll find out. Jod Nanawood. This doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to Skeleton Crew. It's looking like it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, this one's just kind of just shown up out of nowhere, this figure, just on its own. Um, so <laughs> I decided to grab it. I, you know, I generally was going to go for the Black Series over the Vintage because, you know, more character choice. Um, I can stick with Vintage for other stuff. Um, but yeah, this one, it just called to me. There's something about it. So I thought we'd take a look at it. A little write up on the back there if you want to have a look. Nice look at the card. I like the Skeleton Crew logo. I think that looks cool. Nice image of Jude Law. And cool looking figure. I'm looking forward to busting this one open. So let's do exactly that and take a look. All right, folks, here is Jod Nana Wood. I hope it's pronounced differently. Just, it doesn't roll off the tongue at all. Here he is out of the packaging. Either way, looking pretty cool. I, I dig this idea of pirates, you know, more pirates in the galaxy getting a sort of a feel for that sort of vibe. I think that's going to be cool, especially through the through the eyes of, of some young children. I think that's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. I'm really, really excited for Skeleton Crew. Um, accessory wise, we always go through the accessories first. He's got his uh, little hood scarf combination going on here. Excuse the uh, the band aid. I've uh, sliced myself up good a couple of the last couple of days. That looks nicely sculpted. Looks good. No extra paint details on it, which is fine. It's all good. We'll pop that on him afterwards. And comes with this uh, very little tiny blaster pistol. It's almost like a sort of a musket sort of look to it. I don't know, real sort of old school. Sort of goes with the pirate vibe. Which is cool. I like that. And it's sort of similar feel to uh, Zori Bliss from Rise of Skywalker. And that looks like it will fit in his holster there. So we'll get a quick, quick look at that in there. I like that sort of quick draw. Quick draw look to the blaster. Just being able to just whip it out the side there. And I definitely like the idea of uh, bringing someone like Jude Law into Star Wars. I think it's going to be pretty damn cool. He's a pretty solid actor for a long time. Let's get a nice close look at the head sculpt here. I think that's pretty, pretty, pretty close. This looks a little bit like what's his face from Coldplay, <laughs> but no, it definitely looks like Jude Law. I think they've, uh, for this scale, I think they've done pretty damn good. I'll take a look at the jacket. Well, the yeah, it is a jacket. But I like the uh, the sort of the pink tones coming out on the collar and lapels down the front there. That looks good. It's a nice soft plastic. The sort of ornate gold over the pockets there, over the pouches, around the cuffs. Same on that side. That looks good. Down to the pants, 
the sort of just standard looking trousers. Classic sort of Star Wars wrapped boots. Looks pretty good. Not a lot of extra detail on paint for paint applications. There's no little silver accents on the belt belt buckles and all, or all that, but um, you know, if that's closed like that, you're not gonna see it anyway. So the nice sort of goldy bronze looks on on the jacket are nice. I think that works well. I do want to see how the uh, blaster sort of fits in his hand because it's it feels very small. No, that works. I mean, I wouldn't want to bump it or anything, but no, that's holding okay. That's holding okay. Oh, I think that's part of the reason why I love Black Series as well. Just the size, it's a little bit, I don't know. I'll always love three and three quarter, but I don't know. I'm definitely getting the uh, I'm definitely getting all the figures from from Skeleton Crew in six inch. So I don't know if they've announced any others for the TVC, but I'll proudly put this guy on on show somewhere. Let's put this uh, hood hood on. Okay, that sort of just sort of sits over the top. Sort of just sort of sits nicely over the mold of the uh, of the the jacket. Not too bad. It's kind of hiding the head sculpt though a little bit, so I th I don't know. I think I'll keep it off. We'll take a look at the articulation. He's got the ball joint in the head. Ball hinges in the shoulders, ball hinges in the elbows, ball hinges in the wrists, both have an up and down hinge. You do have that joint there in the torso. I like the way this the sort of shirt sort of just sort of hangs down over the over the joint, it hides it nicely. It's got the barbell hips, the swivels at the thighs there. Got a ball hinge at the knees, ball hinge at the ankles, and the rocker in the foot. Now I'm just sort of noticing now the, the look of the, the color of the upper leg. Now it's slightly off. But again, if you've got him in a slightly wide stance like this, behind there, you're probably not going to notice it too much. It could just be me being a little bit picky, but Try the uh, blaster in this hand. Is it not too bad? Let's give, give him the old peg test, I reckon. Using the uh, KR stand, Kessel Run stand. We do are uh, making them in black now, which is awesome. And yeah, that fits on there very nicely. So he's not going anywhere. You can hang him upside down. It fits well. And you know what, for the sake of just keeping everything together, I think I might just keep him displayed with the uh, with the hood. So not a bad looking figure at all. I think he's cool. Nice way to kick off the uh, skeleton crew. Only a few weeks away, two or three weeks away at this point. So I'm looking forward to it. I'd love to hear what you guys think of the figure. Please drop a comment down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, and we'll catch up with you very soon for some more Star Wars action figure reviews. Till then, may the force be with you always.